and welcome back to the Northeast Florida Surf Fishing Forecast. This video was taken Monday afternoon near the Jack's Beach Pier in between thunderstorms. Water was about a 5 out of 10. We had a west wind gusting from 5 to 20 miles an hour, depending on when the storms came through. But, uh, yeah, it's dirty. And it's probably going to be dirty the next few days, and we're going to talk about that because of the winds that we have. And, uh, we got some crazy negative low tides as well. We'll talk about that. I watched the water come in quite fast. And uh good thing is plenty of sand fleas, guys. And the fish are eating them right now. So like I was saying, right now, if you look at the tides, uh next several days, guys, we have some negative low tides, you know, point se negative point seven, negative point eight. So what it's doing, uh Today, the tides are extremely low. They went out extremely fast. And what's crazy is when you get to on the incoming tide for about the first two hours of incoming, it doesn't look like the water has moved much. Then all of a sudden, it uh, rushes in. My buddy who was fishing by the pier, he said he watched the water rise. Quite, he had to move his cart back several times within about a 30 minute span because the water was coming in so fast. So like we've talked about before, if you're fishing the surf and you like to fish like the last two hours out going on the normal tide, perhaps fish four hours before the, out, the low tide because that tide will drop significantly faster with the negative low tides. And you do have a little bit more time to fish on the turnaround of the tide until it really starts coming in. But with the dirty water right now, plenty of sharks. I've seen a lot of reports of sharks the last few days, good sized sharks, five and six foot black tips. So if you wanna get out there and tangle with one of those, catch a whiting, a spot, a croaker, put that whole thing out there and uh, just make sure you have your class that you do on, I believe it's my FWC for the shark permit or whatever it's called, that way, uh, you don't get in trouble. Remember, if there's a lot of swimmers in the area, it's not advised to bring in a big shark amongst the swimmers. Usually the shark's not gonna be in a real good mood. Good thing is plenty of sand fleas along the Jack's Beach area and in Ponte Vedra. Tons of glass minnows along the surf. So with the glass minnows, the trout are now cruising up and down the surf line. Uh, they'll hit, if you get mullet, they'll hit uh, top water lures, mirror lures. They'll hit the voodoo shrimp. I did a little video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Did real well on the voodoo shrimp. And they work in the river just as well as in the surf. Redfish are starting to show up along the surf as well. Flounder. Got some good reports from the Flagler Pier area. Quite a few flounder being caught there. So if you're down in that area, check out that pier. As well as kingfish off the end of the pier. There's still quite a few whiting coming up. You really have to weed through a lot of the smaller whiting to get a few big ones, but there are big, bigger whiting to be caught, you know, 14, 15 inches. They're hitting fresh shrimp, fish bites, and live sand fleas. If you don't have a sand flea rake or you can't find one, no problem, use your hand, guys. They're really thick right now. Another option that I used to use as a kid, the, if you've seen them, the mud minnow traps, they're, uh, Great, you can, most of the ones are pretty sturdy. You can actually use that to dig into the sand and scoop up your sand fleas as well, and it'll sift them out. Remember that little half, the half of a mud minnow trap. But that's all I, uh, as far as reports, a few drum as well. It's been sort of slow the last few days in the surf. Just a odd mix of a few fish here, a few fish there. Seen a few pompano caught, not many. There's a lot more small pompano now in the surf. The surf is actually loaded with the little two and three inch pompano in shallow. So that's a good thing. Next year we'll be seeing those fish and they'll probably be about nine, 10, 11 inches. If you haven't seen it, Larry Finch, you know, the pompano king of Northeast Florida, he's fishing in the river now for speckled trout. So if he's put up his rods and not fishing for pompano, that tells you something that chances are there's not a good deal Pompano around, there's up in the Carolinas where they're uh, really catching some big fish. If you head up to Carolina, bring your your, your Pompano uh, rods and reels and uh, get on them. 
Schools of pogies were seen Monday morning in the Jack's Beach area with kings, tarpon, and quite a few sharks busting through them. So like I said, on these calm days, you either have a kayak and get out there and nail one of these fish, or if you have a substantial spinning reel like a BG, and uh, you can launch a top water or big spoon or anything, get it close to those schools of pogies, you might hook up with something nice. And uh, that'd be a heck of a, a story to land a king from the beach. Don't see that happen too often, but I do remember about 10 years ago, this is the craziest thing, the guy was using a gotcha lure, trying to catch Spanish from the beach, and he ended up catching about a 15 pound kingfish that about stripped them two or three times. I remember seeing the pictures at the time and thinking, man, that, I mean, that was a heck of a catch. You know, he, that made that guy's day. So it's possible. Uh, ribbon fish are also starting to show up, up and down the beach, guys. So if you're going to fish the king tournaments, it might be worth your time to hit those pogey pods and uh, see if you can get some ribbon fish. You know, those kings love them. Weather-wise, the next few days, Tuesday, south winds 10 to 20. If we get thunderstorms, of course, the gusts will be higher. Wednesday, south-southwest 10 to 20. Same thing, thunderstorms, gusts will be higher than on Thursday switching over to the southeast light, like 5 to 15 miles an hour. The lighter, the better, the faster the water will clean up. So like with these south winds, like we talk about, if they are 10 to 20 straight out of the south, the water's going to be mud. Now, if it'll stay more west, like light southwest, it'll actually clean it up. That's what we can hope for. And I do think if they get any time between the rain, they're going to be putting in a few more pilings at the pier this week. If you are going to fish near the pier, one thing I'll suggest, do not wait underneath it. The lifeguards are cracking down on anyone fishing underneath it. And there's a good reason, guys. There is debris falling from the pier. If you don't know it, the existing pier, what is going to have to be replaced, is literally crumbling. The deck is falling apart. That wood has become very brittle. And one of the main reasons why is because over the last, since 2016, it's been closed from that on that area. So it has be, it was a bird sanctuary, and as you know, the birds have to go to bathroom. So all that waste was on top of that deck, and all that acid has just been eaten away at the wood. Another thing, anybody who's watching this video, if you don't know it, there is a barge stuck on the south, I believe it's the south jetties, Mayport jetties, and it's full of ash, and it's slowly been leaking. It's been two or three months now, and it's still there. From what I was told, I need to get more information, but what I was told, there's been several offers and bids submitted, but the city has not accepted any. Guys, I need, if you can, contact the city and voice your displeasure. Because what's going to happen if that barge does not get moved and we get a tropical storm or hurricane off our coast, chances are it's going to break in half. We get those big big waves, and where does all that biohazard go? It's going to go along our beaches. It's going to kill the sand fleas, all the marine life in shallow, contaminate the beach, and who knows how many fish will be dead. It will not be pleasant, guys. So if you can, contact sit the city, Jacksonville, Florida. Let them know. We need to get as many people as we can. Contact the news. Get them involved, Ron DeSantis, any of them. This is unacceptable. It's, this is a, a disaster in the making. It'll cost a lot more to clean up a disaster than it will to pay a little extra, get that thing moved. But uh, that's all I got. If I missed anything, water temperatures are still around 80 to 81 in this area, all the way down to Flagler. And we're gonna try to, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, we're gonna start including peer reports from uh, Flagler South. Eventually, we'll have a Jack Speech peer report where we can call up there and ask them what's going on. But until then, we'll hit like there's the St. Augustine Pier, the Flagler Pier, Daytona, Cocoa, all of those piers. There's fish to be caught in this area, guys. And one of the best places is the pier, especially when you can fish from it and not next to it. So uh, that's all I got. If you haven't got any, you better check around for the voodoo shrimp. 
Most of the places are out of them right now, so you may have to order them online, guys. So send me your reports. Let me know what you catch. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Hope everyone had a great weekend. And stay dry and stay out of the lightning, guys. Until next time, tight lines.